So in the previous step, we've installed the Mad Dash software, so that's now functional on our host. We need to tie this back to the configuration JSON image that we, that we created uh, in the previous steps. So to do this, we need to edit one of the configuration files on the server. It may be the case that this isn't installed, so we need to use the yum tool to install this. This will install the GUI agent and uh, another package that's necessary for reading the configuration file. It's small in size, so it only, should only take a minute. Now that we have this installed, we can edit one of these configuration files. Using whatever editor you're comfortable with, open it up, and near the top is the line that we need to change. There's an example domain here. We can just remove that and replace that with the location of the JSON file that we've already used before. That's the only change we need to make in this file. Now that that file is in place, we're going to regenerate the Mad Dash configuration. This is done by running, by running the Generate GUI Configuration script. This will take a minute because it has to download the JSON file and regenerate the backend YAML file that we edited in, in an earlier step. Once that's done, we can restart our server. And we can pull up the visualization, which is located at the Mad Dash web UI URL. So you'll notice that there's nothing appearing here. We have to go to the dashboards pull down. We click on example mesh. This should mimic what we did in our configuration file step in one of the earlier videos. We've established a full test mesh between three of the hosts. You can see that each of them is visualized here, and then a disjoint mesh below. We don't have any data in these tests yet because we haven't configured the measurement host to start performing tests, but we'll go over that in the next step. Now that we have the dashboard established, this URL can be shared with collaborators after they've configured their measurement host to do the tests.